Good morning, Chansey Cardinals, teachers and staff. It's May, y'all. That's like a Kentucky thing. <laughs> May 1st through May 5th. Welcome back. All right, boys and girls, it's Derby Week. So here is our forecast for uh, this very important week for Louisville and Kentucky. So Monday, rain, 57 degrees, so pretty chilly, really, Monday, and then Tuesday as well, but no rain for Tuesday, and then it looks like for the rest of the week, no rain, but 57 degrees Tuesday, warming up Wednesday, 64 degrees Thursday, starting to get really excited, 70 degrees, so a beautiful day Thursday, and then Friday, um, Oaks Day, 72 degrees um, with some clouds. I think just to kind of speak off of this chart, Saturday is also supposed to be a very nice day. That's Derby Day. So that's a day lots of people will be going to parties, picnics, getting out. It's going to be a very exciting week for our city, and it looks like we're having really good weather. I'm so glad about that. Good morning, Chansey Cardinals, teachers and staff. It is Miss Burton here, and I'm coming to you with just some reminders of um, how we want you to behave for the last 21 days, I think we have, of the school year. Remember, every day you walk through our doors, you are walking through this, the doors, and you are turning your mind on to do things the Chansey Cardinal way, and that means you're being responsible, respectful, and safe at all times. This week, it's going to be a busy week. There's so much fun stuff going on with teacher appreciation, derby, um, preparing for KSA. But boys and girls, I want you to remember that your number one priority and ours as the adults is to keep you safe and to make sure that you are being responsible and respectful to everyone. So please, when you're coming into school, I know you want to have fun and I know the countdown is on, but remember that you are at school and you have to behave in a way that's going to keep everyone safe and allow everyone to learn. Also remember restroom procedures. Teachers, this is probably a good time to go over those restroom procedures and remind students of how they are to behave when they are in the restroom because boys and girls, there are a lot of things that go on in the restroom that should not be happening. Um, and so we want to eliminate that. You all should be taking restroom breaks with your class. But if not, if there's an emergency or you just really have to go, you need to make sure that you are going with a buddy. So teachers, make sure you are partnering those students who need to go because it's an emergency and they just cannot hold it anymore. Make sure they are going with a buddy, someone who's responsible, and who can make sure that they're doing the right thing in the restroom. And boys and girls, the restroom should be quick. Get in, do your business, wash your hands, get out. None of this playing around, screaming, hollering, yelling, being sneaky, none of that. Um, and then also our priority is for everyone to be safe. Cardinals, make smart choices. You all know the right thing to do. We've been doing this for, I don't know, 500 days, 600 days, 250. I don't know how many days we've been at school, but it seems like a long time. We've been doing this for a long time. So make sure you come to school, make smart choices, have some fun, learn something, and get home safely. Anything else, guys? Um, I think the only thing I want to add, like for the bathroom, boys and girls, don't use the bathroom as an escape to like get out of work and not be doing something. Your time in the class is very important. That's your time to do that work. Don't try to get out of it by coming up with uh, excuses, like going to the bathroom. And then again, just being safe. We're spending a lot more time outside, boys and girls, with recess happening more outside. Just make sure you're playing safe games, um, being where the teachers can see you, and just taking care of each other. I agree with everything you all said. Awesome. All righty. It is Teacher Appreciation Week. That's just one of the many things going on this week. And we are going to celebrate and thank our teachers and staff for everything that they do to help you all learn and just to be great, boys and girls. On Monday, it's ready to shine, arise and shine. Enjoy a coffee bar and breakfast in the, in the teacher's lounge. You'll also have lunch sponsored by Northeast Christian. On Tuesday, aren't you glad to be a cardinal? Pick a treat from the teacher's lounge again that day. Wednesday, don't spend your green, save your money, and have lunch from the PTA. PTA is going to sponsor lunch on Wednesday for everyone at Chicken Salad Chick. Sounds yummy to me. And then on Thursday, this is Thurby, we would be blue without you. There's a gift card giveaway to all of our teachers and staff. And then lunch is sponsored by La Rosa's Pizza, Chansey Cardinals. 
your teachers and staff might be a little bit full and sleepy after lunch this week because they are going to be enjoying some yummy treats, but that's okay. They earned it and we love you all so much. So thanks for everything you do. Boys and girls, you can help with, am I reading this one, Burton? Yes, ma'am. All righty. Boys and girls, you can help and show your support by wearing some important colors. On Monday, you're going to wear red. Tuesday, you'll wear orange. Wednesday, green. And Thursday, wear blue to thank a teacher. And staff, we can participate too. I've already got my outfits planned out for the week with those colors. I, I so. bet you do, Miss Burton. <laughs> yeah, I think I have every color except orange. I might have to find an orange. If I don't have the color, just know that I, in my heart, I love you all, truly. <laughs> I'm not as fancy as some people, Miss Burton, but I will, I do appreciate you. <laughs> I do think it would be cool to see all the kids come with all their stuff on, so it's going to be a fun right. week. I agree. Fun week. So with saying that, it's a, a short week next week, um, but we have seven days until we take the big end of the year test and we call that the ksa kentucky summative assessment so as we get through these next seven days we're practicing and preparing for the test take your time um to get all of this last bit of information in boys and girls because when it comes time to do it on the test we want you to be prepared uh always take the work in school seriously but especially take your test seriously. This score will follow you boys and girls as you progress through school. Your KSA results will stay with you as you look for middle schools and then as you look for uh, high school. So these scores really are important. Um, and then do your own work. You're smart. You can do this. You'd never have to worry if you just try your best. Um, we are going to have a pep rally on Thursday. That'll be May the 4th. Um, for third, fourth, and fifth graders um, at 10 a.m. in the morning. So boys and girls, remember, it is our time, um, and just do your best as we prepare for the end of the year. Exactly. All right, so as we've been saying, it's a fun time. It's derby time, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not from Louisville. I mean, I'm from Kentucky, so I should know, but um, it's. But I've been here long enough to know that the derby is a huge event Um across the country, not just here in, in Kentucky, across the country, people travel all from all over to participate. But the Kentucky Derby is a horse race and it is held every year here in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it's held on the first Saturday in May. So this year it's May 5th, I believe. Um, the race is off, no? No, um, May 5th, I believe is Cinco de Mayo. And so that is on Friday. No, that Friday. Ah, I got that wrong. I got excited about Cinco de Mayo. My bad. It is May 5th, Miss Burton. So Derby and Cinco de Mayo on the same day? Man, sounds oh, wow. like it. Oh, sounds fun. Like yeah. Party for all. Could be a fun time. Uh, the race is often called Run for the Roses because of the blanket of roses that are draped over the winter. Um, and they are all, it's so beautiful. I love seeing the um, the blanket of roses they drape over the winter. Mm -hmm. um, it's also known as the most exciting two minutes of sports because I don't know if you all have ever seen a race, but it's quick. But it is very exciting. We'll have you on the edge of your seat. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll be looking to see if, if your horse that you chose um, is the winner. So our kindergarten and first graders are going to be celebrating by having a little derby parade on Thursday. I'm not sure of the time, but um, I'm excited to see the floats and the outfits that our, our young students will come in on because that's, that's always a fun time. But it's derby time. I don't know. Did I butcher that? Because I'm not from. Oh, Louisville. you did a great yeah, job. You did a great job with that. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> well, I would just say this. The cool thing about the Derby is everybody's found their way to celebrate. See, so mm -hmm. Derby is actually Saturday, though. Yeah, and the always single day mile is at Friday. So that is Derby, where those things um, are confusing. Derby is yeah. always the first Saturday in May. It's one of those weird holidays that doesn't have an actual calendar date. So it kind of falls when it when it happens, the first Saturday in May. So we, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo on Friday, May 5th, and then May 6th, that Saturday, we'll celebrate Derby. Got so it. So for those of you that are celebrating both, it, we broke that up a little bit just <laughs> for you. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. So also there is no school this Friday. So Friday, May the 5th, in celebration of Derby, there will be no school. Miss Burton is very excited about this. I mean, you know. All right. 
Boys and girls, is this my turn? Keep going, okay. Cardinals. Guess what? You are almost there are 21 days left of school. That does not mean it's time to celebrate and party just yet. I know that finish line girl is super excited, but I need you to contain some of that excitement and remember that the most important part of you being at school is that we keep you safe. And then a close second is learning. You've got to learn. So make sure that you know that we are still here to learn and you must maintain the safety of yourself and others. Chanty Cardinals, teachers and staff, don't ever forget that you are important and unique. Be the best that you can be. Work hard and be kind. You will change the world and have an awesome, fantastic teacher, pre teacher Appreciation Week, Derby Week, Cinco de Mayo Week. Anything else? Uh, Mother's Day's coming up. Mother's but that's, Day's coming up. No, that's all next week. We got to just do one week at a time. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.